or Exodus 16 through 18. And they set out from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second new moon after their going out of the land of Mitzrayim. And all the congregation of the children of Israel grumbled against Moshe and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said to them, If only we had died by the hand of Yehovah in the land of Mitzrayim, when we sat by the pots of meat, and when we ate bread to satisfaction. For you have brought us out into the wilderness to put all this assembly to death with hunger. And Yehovah said to Moshe, Look, I'm raining bread from the heavens for you, and the people shall go out and gather a day's portion every day in order to try them whether they walk in my Torah or not. And it shall be on the sixth day that they shall prepare what they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. And Moshe and Aaron said to all the children of Israel, At evening you shall know that Yehovah has brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim, and in the morning you shall see the esteem of Yehovah, for he hears your grumblings against Yehovah. And what are we that you grumble against us? And Moshe said, In that Yehovah gives you meat to eat in the evening, and in the morning bread to satisfaction, for Yehovah hears your grumblings which you make against him. And what are we? Your grumblings are not against us, but against Yehovah. And Moshe said to Aaron, Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before Yehovah, for he has heard your grumblings. And it came to be as Aaron spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel that they looked toward the wilderness and see the esteem of Yahweh appeared in the cloud. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel. Speak to them saying, between the evenings you are to eat meat. And in the morning you are to be satisfied with bread. And you shall know that I am Yahweh your Elohim. And it came to be that quails came up at the evening and covered the camp. And in the morning dew lay all around the camp. And the layer of dew went up and see on the surface of the wilderness was a small round substance as fine as frost on the ground. And the children of Israel saw, and they said to each other, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moshe said to them, It is the bread which Yehovah has given you to eat. This is the word which Yehovah has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need, an omer for each being according to the number of beings. Let every man take for those who are in his tent. And the children of Israel did so and gathered, some more, some less. And they measured it by omers, and he who gathered much did not have too much, and he who gathered little did not have too little. Each one gathered according to his need. And Moshe said, Let no one leave any of it till morning. And they did not listen to Moshe. So some of them left part of it until morning, and it bred worms and stank, and Moshe was wroth with them, and they gathered it every morning, each one according to his need, and when the sun became hot, it melted. And it came to be on the sixth day that they gathered twice as much bread, two omers for each one, and all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moshe, and he said to them, This is what Yehovah has said. Tomorrow is a rest, a Sabbath, set apart to Yehovah. That which you bake, bake, and that which you cook, cook, and lay up for yourselves all that is left over to keep until morning. 
and they laid it up till morning as Moshe commanded, and it did not stink, and no worm was in it. And Moshe said, Eat it today, for today is a Sabbath to Yahavah. Today you do not find it in the field. Gather six days, but on the seventh day, which is a Sabbath, there is none. And it came to be, some of the people went out on the seventh day to gather, but they found none. And Yehovah said to Moshe, How long shall you refuse to guard my commands and my Torah? See, because Yehovah has given you the Sabbath, therefore he is giving you bread for two days on the sixth day. Let each one stay in his place. Do not let anyone go out of his place on the seventh day. So, the people rested on the seventh day. And the house of Israel called its name manna. And it was like white coriander seed, and the taste of it was like thin cakes made with honey. And Moshe said, This is the word which Yahavah has commanded. Fill an omer with it to keep for your generations, so that they see the bread with which I fed you in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe said to Aaron, Take a pot and put an omer of manna in it and set it down before Yahovah to keep for your generations. And as Yahovah commanded Moses, so did Aaron set it down before the wilderness to keep. And the children of Israel ate manna forty years until they came to an inhabited land. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. And an omer is one-tenth of an ephah. Exodus 17. And all the children of Israel, the entire congregation, set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin, according to the mouth of Yahovah and camped in Rephidim, and there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people strove with Moshe and said, Give us water to drink. And Moshe said to them, Why do you strive with me? Why do you try, Yahovah? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people grumbled against Moshe and said, Why did you bring us out of Mitzrayim to kill us and our children? and our livestock with thirst. Then Moshe cried out to Yahovah, saying, What am I to do with these people? Yet a little, and they shall stone me. And Yahovah said to Moshe, Pass over before the people and take with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the rod with which you struck the river, and go. See, I am standing before you there on the rock in Horeb, and you shall strike the rock, and the water shall come out of it, and the people shall drink. And Moshe did so before the eyes of the elders of Israel, and he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah, because of the strife of the children of Israel, and because they tried Yahovah, saying, Is Yahovah in our midst or not? And Amalek came and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moshe said to Yehoshua, Choose for us men and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I'm stationing myself on the top of the hill with the rod of Elohim in my hand. And Yehoshua did as Moshe said to him to fight with Amalek. And Moshe, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to be when Moshe held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moshe's hands were heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on him. And Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Yehoshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. 
And Yahweh said to Moshe, Write this for a remembrance in the book, and recite it in the hearing of Yehoshua, that I shall completely blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens. And Moshe built a slaughter place and called its name Yahuvah Nisi. For he said, Because a hand is on the throne of Yah, Yahuvah is to fight against Amalek from generation to generation. Exodus 18. And Yithro, the priest of Midian, Moshe's father-in-law, heard of all that Elohim had done for Moshe and for Israel, his people, that Yahovah had brought Israel out of Mitzrayim. And Yithro, Moshe's father-in-law, took Zipporah, the wife of Moshe, after he had sent her back, and her two sons, of whom the name of one was Gerashon, for he said, I have been a sojourner in a foreign land. And the name of the other was Eleazar, for he said, the Elohim of my father was my help and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Yithro, Moshe's father-in-law, came with his sons and his wife to Moshe in the wilderness, where he was encamped at the mountain of Elohim. And he said to Moshe, I, your father-in-law, Yithro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons with her. And Moshe went out to meet his father-in-law and bowed down and kissed him, and they asked each other about their welfare. And they went into the tent. And Moshe told his father-in-law all that Yahweh had done to Pharaoh and to the Mitzrites for Israel's sake, and all the hardships that had come upon them on the way, and how Yahweh had delivered them. And Yithro rejoiced for all the good which Yahweh had done for Israel, whom he had delivered out of the hand of the Mitzrites. And Yithro said, Blessed be Yahovah who has delivered you out of the hand of the Mitzrites and out of the hand of Pharaoh, and who has delivered the people from under the hand of the Mitzrites. Now I know that Yahovah is greater than all the mighty ones. Indeed, in the matter in which they acted proudly above them. Then Yithro the father-in-law of Moshe brought an ascending offering and other slaughterings unto Elohim. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with the father-in-law of Moshe before Elohim. And it came to be on the next day that Moshe sat to rightly rule the people. And the people stood before Moshe from morning until evening. And when the father-in-law Moshe saw all that he did for the people, he said, What is this that you are doing for the people? Why do you sit by yourself and all the people stand before you from morning until evening? And Moshe said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to seek Elohim. When they have a matter, they come to me, and I rightly rule between one and another and make known the laws of Elohim and his terror. And the father-in-law of Moshe said to him, What you're doing is not good. Both you and these people with you shall certainly wear yourselves out, for the matter is too heavy for you. You're not able to do it by yourself. Now listen to my voice. Let me counsel you, and Elohim be with you, Stand before Elohim for the people, and you shall bring the matters to Elohim, and you shall enlighten them concerning the laws of the tarot, and show them the way in which they should walk and the work which they do. But you yourself seek out from all the people able men who fear Elohim, men of truth, hating unfair gain and place these over them to be rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they shall rightly rule the people at all times. And it shall be that they bring every great matter to you, 
that they themselves rightly rule every small matter. So make it lighter for yourselves, for they shall bear with you. If you do this word, and Elohim shall command you, then you shall be able to stand, and all this people also go to their place in peace. And Moshe listened to the voice of his father-in-law, and did all that he said. And Moshe chose able men out of all of Israel, and made them heads over the people. Rulers of thousands, rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties, and rulers of tens. And they rightly ruled the people at all times. The hard matters they brought to Moshe, but they rightly ruled every small matter themselves. And Moshe sent off his father-in-law, and he went away to his own land.